In this video, we will show how to perform a GON injection. This is a local infiltration with corticosteroids around the greater occipital nerve, the GON. First of all, the materials needed. Sterile gauzes, sterile gloves, disinfection material, a pull-up needle and an injection needle, size 0.6 by 25 mm. Methyl prednisolone 40 mg per milliliter, optionally with lidocaine 10 mg per milliliter. The current thinking being that the effects of the injection are due to the corticosteroids. A needle container, a marker pen. This can be used to mark the injection location. Position the patient with his or her back to you in a sitting position. Use a bench for this, so the patient can lie down if necessary if he or she becomes vasovagal after the injection. The next step is to find the location of the GON on the side where the patient has symptoms. To do this, identify the inion and the mustoid. Draw an imaginary line between these. In most patients, the GON runs on one third of the line from the inion to the mustoid. Here you can also feel a groove. If necessary, mark this location. With repeated injections, it is also good to inspect this point for any side effects, local alopecia, atrophy or hypopigmentation. Next, prepare the injection. Unpack the sterile gloves and turn the package into a sterile field. In the sterile field, prepare two sterile gauzes, one with alcohol and one without, the pull-up needle, and the injection needle. Put on the sterile gloves. Draw up 2 cc of the fluid, so that a total of 80 mg of methylprednisolone and optionally 20 mg of lidocaine enter the syringe. Remove air from the syringe, then safely discard the pull-up needle into the needle container. And then place the injection needle on the syringe. Disinfect the injection site one more time. Next, you will administer the injection. Place the needle perpendicular to the injection site, slightly below the edge of the bone. Insert the syringe until you touch the skull. And then withdraw 1 mm. If necessary, use your left hand to stabilize the head. Aspirate a little to ensure that the needle is not in the blood vessel. If this is the case, you will see some blood returning in the syringe. If this is not the case, inject the fluid subcutaneously. When doing this, make sure that the syringe initially remains perpendicular to the injection site. Be sure to stay about 1 mm from the skull. This often requires inserting the needle slightly deeper during the injection. Inject slowly, but steadily, gradually also injecting fluid to the left and right. Cover the injection site with a gauze and then remove the needle. Let the patient gently press the injection site with the gauze while you clean up the needle and other items. Let the patient sit for several minutes to prevent a vasovagal reaction.